Okay, we're now going to look at working out the nth term for fractional sequences. So here we've got a sequence of half, three sevenths, five twelfths, seven seventeenths, and so on. And the sequence goes on. And we've been asked to work out the nth term for this, so the nth term. To work out the nth term for a fractional sequence, what you need to do is consider the top line and the bottom line separately, the numerators and the denominators separately. So let's look at the numerators to start off with. The numerators are 1, 3, 5, 7. And the denominators are 2, 7, 12, and 17. So, let's look at the numerators to begin with. Okay? The numerators went 1, 3, 5, 7. So here's the, the uh, numerators, and what we're going to do is we're going to work the nth term out for this. If you need to see how to do the nth term for linear sequences, watch the video nth term for linear sequences, and you should be able to know how to do this. So the sequence is getting bigger by 2 each time, so you write down the 2 times tables, or the multiples of 2 beneath the sequence. So 2, 4, 6, 8, and that's 2n, the 2 times tables. To get from 2 to 1, 4 to 3, 6 to 5, and 8 to 7, you subtract 1 each time. So the top line, the numerators, have an nth term of 2n minus 1. Now let's look at the denominators. The denominators went 2, 7, 12, 17. Well, it's getting bigger by 5 each time. So you write the multiples of 5 beneath the sequence. And 5n. To get from 5 to 2, 10 to 7, 15 to 12, and 20 to 17, you subtract 3. So the, the nth term for the denominators is 5n subtract 3. So we've got the nth term for the numerators and the nth term for the denominators. Well, we've got to now write it as a fraction. So it's going to be 2n minus 1 over 5n subtract minus 5n subtract 3. So that's the nth term for this fractional sequence. Let's just say we wanted to work out the hundredth term in the sequence. Well, if we wanted to know the hundredth term, uh, the hundredth term, hundredth term, well, we've got 2 times 100, 200, take away 1, which would be 199, over 5 times 100, 500, take away 3, it would be 497. So the hundredth term in the sequence is 199 over 497. So that's how to find the nth term for fractional sequences. You consider the top line and the bottom line separately, and then you can then work out the nth term and put it together as a fraction, and use that to work out any term missing that you want to work out.